To be completely honest with you, you've not really missed much. There's nothing really changed. I think what we just need to do in this episode is just get rid of that dreadful run of form and start winning some games and start climbing back up the league. Hello guys, David here and welcome back to episode number 30 of Going Into Continental, here with Newell's old boys. Since you were last with us, nothing's happened. We've had a friendly that we won against our lower league side, nothing to report there. And we are now back for the games against Union and San Lorenzo. Union who are 20th in the table, they are what? They are two points clear off the bottom. San Lorenzo who are a few points above us, who knows? A couple of wins, we go above San Lorenzo, that'd be nice wouldn't it? I don't think it's going to happen, but I want at least one win out of this. An unbeaten episode would be very, very much appreciated. Since you were last with this in terms of off-the-pitch antics, again, not a huge amount has happened. We lost out on this Emmanuel Martinez guy because we were going to bring him in as a right winger. He'd probably play a bit further forward, to be fair, but a nice little youth prospect. Although, actually... Wait, hold on a minute. No, sorry, he was going to leave us and then my director of football elected to extend his contract. That's what I meant to say. That's what it was. Uh, Marcioni is on the way out. He's going on loan to Col to Colon. Um, we're getting rid of him just to get him off the wage budget. And then let's go back into the transfer history. I believe that's pretty much it. Oh, actually, yeah, there's been two more since then as well. Jesus Christ. I've literally just done these. How have I forgotten already? Maximiliano Ribeiro, we knew he was leaving anyway. He has gone to Deportivo Moron. Caligari has left the club and has gone to Teleres in a £725,000 deal. He wasn't going to stay. There was no point keeping him. And I've also brought in a new goalkeeper, Fernando Manetti. He's a sweeper-keeper by trade, classed in the game as a distributor, which is a very nice st uh, thing to have, especially with the tactic I'm going to be trying for these next two games. Um, he's very similar in terms of attributes, generally speaking, f as uh, Limousin is, but just, again, a bit more of an attacking sweeper-keeper. So hopefully you can get a little bit more out of him in that role. So he will be playing a couple of games for us in this episode, hopefully to good effect as well. Um, and the other stuff that you've missed, we did have quite a few injuries, but most of them are pretty much out of it. Now, Limousin was actually out with a hernia and he is actually rem not yet fully fit. So I am leaving him out of this, get this next game. And Damian Fernandez is not playing because he has a hip injury. He's been out for the last few months. We had a load of injuries just magically appear just after I finished the last episode. So unfortunately, most of them are back, but some of them are, as you can see, still still not fully up to speed just yet. The other news is Hector Nora is most likely going to be leaving the club. Unfortunately, he is subject to bids from West Ham. Well, I say bids, interest rather. Um, I tried to send it sign him a new contract because he's got his what got release clause in it. The standard thing has happened. He's not going to sign one unless it's a lower release clause. Ergo, he leaves for the price that's on his current contract and that's that. Um, I'm not going to offer him out there because I do, would like to keep him at least until the summer, ideally, and then bring in a couple of extra players if we can. But anyway, team for the first game of the episode against the aforementioned Union is going to be, as you can see here, as you can see, a couple of changes and a change in tactics slightly as well, mainly in the instructions itself. It's still a Gagan press by trade. Um, but you have Manetti in goal, Kano, Gratha, Urquia and Andriozzi are the back four. Nora and Torres in the centre of the park. Go away, Funes. Nobody cares about you. That was really mean. Um, Aguirre, Bottomore. And Benitez, the supporting three behind Varela up top. Yeah, slightly different um, tactic for this one. Obviously, the normal one is that is with the, the player at the base of the midfield. I wanted to give Bottomore a bit of a run because he is starting to improve by quite a bit. And we do have a couple of players in that position, which might be worth having a, a bit of a better look at. Um, we've also changed a couple of the instructions. So things like the overlaps, we're going to start doing a bit of that. Uh, distributing to the fullbacks as well when the goalkeeper's got it. Quicker distribution. Uh, slightly deeper defensive line as well because as you may have seen in a few of the re episodes recently there are quite a few instances where defenders have come too far up and they've been caught out I'm thinking particularly the Damien Fernandez shocker that was in the game against River in episode 26 pretty sure I watched that recently I'm pretty sure that was the one but anyway that's a weird formation very weird there's a big big old gap so maybe it was a good maybe it was a bad decision for us to put bottom or in maybe you should have sat maybe you should have kept that there but I wasn't to know that so not to worry prove a point lads go and show the critics that you're wrong yeah we are massively down the league into what we really should be let's be completely frank with it let's not beat around the bush so there's definitely room for improvement needed 
in my eyes. So let's go out there and let's turn up and let's get a result. I was like, Union 20th in the league, they're second from bottom. I mean, we know what's going to happen here, really, don't we? But hopefully we can avoid that calamity and try and get a win. That would be nice. Good highlight to begin with. 10 minutes on the clock. Andriotzi with the throw. He's going to play it to Torres. Plays it back to him. Ball into Varela, who's going to put it in. He does. It's an early goal. Damian Varela with his seventh goal of the season. He is on target again. That's a fantastic start. That is exactly what I wanted to do. So a lovely little ball. Ball from Andriotzi was very tidy there. Gives him a bit of, soft, bit of space. Varela gets away from his man and tucks it away without issue, which is very nice indeed. All right then, guys. Half time. Um, did a bit of a silly, not going to lie. You're not going to see this, obviously. I'm going to edit this out. But it's 4-0 at half time. Um, basically what I did was I was clicking around on OBS trying to sort a couple of things out and then apparently I changed to a completely different scene so you couldn't actually see a thing I was doing so you missed the first half but as you can see yeah it went, it went quite well it was pretty good tactical genius here right this guy here we go another highlight Andriotzi with the throw in as normal is he gonna go for the long throw this time not really goes it to Benitez though who takes a shot drops to Varela who takes a shot and the keeper tips it over it looked like this it's going to be a corner Nora on this one, our set piece taken out. Ball into, I'm not sure who that was at the back post. Couldn't quite tell. I think it might have been a, uh, what's his name? Urkia, potentially. Apologies, guys. Little sneeze there. Again, edit that out slightly. Oh, caught me by surprise. Anyway, still 4-0. Nothing much changed in the, in the second half so far. But, I mean, look at those ratings. Obviously, Manetti hasn't really done anything, so he's not got a rating to improve. Look at that. 17 shots to their three, 11 shots on target to their two, 72% possession. Absolute domination in this game. Let's see what happens at this corner before I take make any tactical changes. Drops to Akira, gets it back to Nora, who passes, who crosses it in to Grather at the end, edge of the box. To Benitez, who takes a shot, and it just goes over the bar. I've still not quite figured out who number 34 is. Is it Kano? No, who is it then? Who could it possibly be? I mean, it must be Bottomore then. No, he's number 37. So who is it? Very confused. Must be, to is it Torres? I, I'm baffled. I, was, I don't know what I'm doing. I can find out on this screen, can't I? There we go. 34. Oh, it's Varela. That's who it is. Wants to stay on, but his injury is affecting him. That's fine. Leonardo, you've done well. We can bring Torres. Uh, in fact, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I am going to bring Bottomore off, but I'm going to bring Belmonte on at the base of the midfield. We don't need to win this. We don't need to do much more now, let's be honest. Ball winning midfielder, that's a sensible choice. Uh, Barotha is going to get a run out as well. My mouse lets me do it. There we go. And that will do for now. Wonderful stuff thus far. And it puts us into ninth place at stand, but importantly, it means that we're continuing on with a very decent uh, positive goal difference. Varela with a corner now. Drops out, defended by that to the Barotha, who puts it back to Varela, who gets across into Torres, and it's in, and it's 5-0. I mean, we're absolutely pasting Union at the moment. This is exactly the morale-boosting result I wanted. Varela with the ball in from the corner. Defender gets rid of it. It's not the best corner in the world, let's be honest. Brother plays it back to him. Is it first time? Yeah, first time court corner uh, crossing. Torres has got acres of space to muck around, with, muck around in there. He could have taken a touch, probably drawn a nice little picture of the goal and still put it in, to be completely honest. Um, Andriotzi now, trading pass with Benitez, drops it into Barotha, who's presumably going to play it back out that way. He ran himself into a little bit of a cul-de-sac there. Benitez gets the ball now. Is he going to try and put a cross in? He's not. He's going to lose the ball. Again, typically one of the players who hasn't really turned up. Worth noting, he did actually get the Copper Sudamericana Player of the Year, um, which I didn't realise, and Goal of the Year as well. I think we saw that one. I vaguely remember it was a, a bit of a screamer on the volley, I think. Um, anyway, ball goes to Kano. Barotha takes the ball off of him from the header, gives it to Torres in the centre of the park, who's marauding forward and takes a shot, and it's 6-0. This is ridiculous. Torres, eat your heart out. I don't think he's played much recently. I don't recall him being in the team, to be honest. He might well have done. I can't remember. Like I say, it's been two months game time since I played this, because I don't play my friendly, so I don't know. 
But I mean, look at this. Absolutely tearing them apart. I'm going to make my final change around about the 80 minute mark. I don't even know what it's going to be. I really have no idea. Let me do it now. Let's bring, I don't know. I'm going to bring off Andriot. So he looks like the tired, he looks like the most tired player. And let's give Nadalan a bit of a, a bit of match sharpness. He can go on the, uh, no, I'll just leave him as that. He can attack if he wants. I don't mind. I've got no issue with that whatsoever. You push forward. Push forward, man. Fernando, is it? Fasundo. Fasundo Nadalan. And to think I was trying to sell him before. I'm so sorry. Surely check in on Steve, actually. It's been a good few months since we since he disappeared, whether he's actually getting some game time or not. He's the one of the only big people that we've lost apart from uh, he's the only name in the game player that we've lost so far. But we could lose some of these other ones as we go through because they're all very good potential players. Baratha now. He's gonna play it. No, he's gonna lose it. I thought he would have played it through to the on rushing Kano there, but didn't manage to do so do as such. Does remind me, as I said, Kano's name. Does make me remember the fact that he is up for contract, if I'm not mistaken, in six months' time. <clears throat> He's becoming a bit of a tidy player for us. So we need definitely need to have a look at that, make sure he's not already signed a contract, saying that. Oh, no, he does manage to get away from there. Torres again is going to get the hat-trick. He is. It's his sixth goal of the season. Nora with the assist. I think all, and in fact, I was going to say all of them came from outside of the box. They didn't because he got the header on the edge of the box. But 7-0. Oh, this is wonderful. This is glorious. Look at this. Oh, what a finish. He's so calculated in the shots he's taken. Fantastic stuff. Plus 10 goal difference now. A win will not put us up, up ahead of San Lorenzo in the, next, in the next game, but it will, assuming results go away, put us up into seventh place, which is a fantastic feat. But, I mean, that is... You can't ask for much more than that, can you, lads? Fantastic stuff. Passionate. We were excellent. Good. Good result, great performance. Well done, gentlemen. Before we go on to the next game, let's go and quickly have a look at uh, Lotaro Kano and let's just see if he is a player that we can put a bid in for. Looks back to strive for, to strive forward. Yeah, I did that technically. I actually, do you know what's really amusing? You guys won't find this very funny, but I actually genuinely thought of that. I thought, do you know what? I'll go back to a, a tactic that suits me and we'll give it a go. Right, where is he? No, that's not him. That's Graffa. Where's he gone? There he is. Let's have a look then. Contracts. No, he signed a new contract. Uh, so we're now just improving him for no reason. He's now technically our best player at right back. Technically, I suppose. Can we can we extend the loan too soon to extend it? Oh, OK, we have they have to accept our two million pound bid. I'll come back to that in the meantime. Let's fast forward a bit and let's go into the game against San Lorenzo and let's try and get even further at that table. OK, then, guys, second game of the episode. Since you were last with us, we have had one particular thing happen of which it's completely escaped my mind. What was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I recall now. Um, <clears throat> basically, our director of football came in and tried to spunk £1.4 million on a fourth choice centre mid, which I swiftly told him to go away basically because we have Nora Torres, Belmonte, Rodriguez, Bellotti. We've we've got enough, put it that way. We've even got Riera and Bottlemore and that who can probably do a job in there anyway. Um so yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Team, exactly the same as it was before. No changes, sub bench is the same. So let's just get straight into it. And let's see if we can get a better result or see if we can sorry. See if we can get as good a result as we did against San Union against San Lorenzo. They are heavy, heavy favourites. Obviously, they're what sixth in the league at the moment. We are in eighth or ninth, I think. Pick up where you left off. That seems like a sensible thing to say, because I'd love it if you could win seven nil again. That would be absolutely incredible. I'd say we're on track for an unbeaten episode. We just got to avoid defeat here. Ideally, win. But we shall see. I think Gratha is the only. Um, ever present in the squad at the moment because I'm pretty sure everyone else has changed around obviously Minetti's new Andriozzi's come in when Steve Hood left uh, Kia's just kind of temporary at the moment to be completely honest Kano is in Torres is in and out Nora's been fairly conf um, consistent in terms of being in the team Benitez Bottom was obviously very new it's the third game I think and then these guys Varela's probably been more 
more of an ever present than anyone else. But Aguirre has been switching around with Barotha as well. So, yeah, Ricardo Graffa from all competitions, 22 games. I think he's played every league game. Could be wrong. Right, anyway, enough of that. A win here puts a seventh as it stands. And that is the aim. I demand more because we've not really done much so far. We've had a we've had the shade ever so slight shaded possession. We had a couple more shots, but not really done much. Wow, this is a long pitch. I'm just so used to seeing square pitches, that's what it is. It just throws me off. That's a concern. No, like he is mopping up the mess from Gratha there, which is good. What's Manetti gonna do? Very much reminds me of Kiko Casilla in the fact that he's a very eccentric player, which does slightly worry me, but he's he looks like he's pretty good at it. So hopefully he doesn't uh, doesn't do anything too crazy. That would be nice. Anyway, Torres on the ball now out to Nora. Picked up the ball. Going to put a cross in. It's an own goal, I think. Is that an own goal? Or did Varela get it? Oh, Varela got it. I didn't even notice. I completely missed that. I genuinely thought that that was an own goal. But Varela has got the goal and we are 1-0 up against San Lorenzo. And that is a good old start to the game. So, sorry, well, I said this last episode, didn't I? It's not really a good start to the game when it happens 35 minutes in, but I'm happy nonetheless because we are 1-0 up. And as it stands, we'll be going into seventh place in the league, just one point and one position off of the top six, which is fantastic. Ball in, and it's all gone. Ah, back to square one. That seemed, I was going to say, that looked like a missed interception, and it says a key has missed one there, and it didn't, it didn't look particularly tidy in terms of what happened. Let's see what happened again. Ball comes in. Oh, see, yeah, he's got to get to that. Whoever that man is, it's not Urquia. I wouldn't have put it at him. I think that's Kano. I think he should have done better there. Personally, that's just me. So it's 1-0 at half time. We have been the better team. I'll tell him that. It was te I suppose you could technically suggest there's room for improvement, but we have had more of the game so far. We just need to try and convert a few more of these additional shots we've had. Definitely having more of the ball anyway. Defensively, not having the best of games. This is another chance for San Lorenzo now, which is a concern. Cross comes in, a quarter comes in, header goes over the bar. So nothing coming there. Not quite the uh, attacking force that we were in the first game. Unsurprisingly, really, because obviously San Lorenzo are a far better team than, uh, than Union were. Anyway, Andrew Otzi plays it to Torres. Please don't lose the ball. Oh. Stop him. Stop it. Close him down. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Cross in far post. You watch. Pretty much. <laughs> I have lost count. I'd love it. And I know you guys aren't going to go through this, but I'd love it for someone to go back through and just tell me how many times on camera I've conceded that exact goal. Ball out wide, cross in, near to, uh, far to middle of the back post. Goal. Every time. Every bloody time. Right, Andriotti with the throw. Plays it to Torres. Let's not have a repeat, please. Nor on the edge of the box. To Torres again. Where's he going to go with it? Going to try and get it to Aguirre. Doesn't manage to get it to him. Drops back to Kano, who's running very slowly indeed. Obviously, Kano now subject to a new long term contract at Velez, which is a bit of a shame. But he plays it to Andriotti quite nicely. Benito's trying to round his man. That's a terrible, terrible pass. Drops it to Aguirre, though, tries to get it to Nora. Gets it back to Aguirre, takes a chance, comes off the crossbar. Oh, I thought that was going in. We've seen Aguirre do that once or twice before. The reason why I've not got anyone to replace Bottomore on the bench, I've realised, is because <coughs> Riera, who would be the normal replacement for him, or at least competition, I suppose, is on loan. I forgot he was out, so he's not actually at the club at the moment, which is why he's not, um, he's not really got anyone to replace him. But we do have the option to do things like this, where we can shift Torres forwards. Bottom off and come off because he's not having the best of games this time round. <clears throat> uh, he could be a playmaker up there. He can be a ball winning midfielder. That again, that allows Nora to be his more appropriate deep line playmaker role. And I think that will do for now. It'll probably be a case of the Aguirre Benita switch, and then we'll bring on there. Uh, what's his face? Barotha on instead of Benita's if he doesn't manage to do anything more in this game. Have to 
make a choice, make a decision to maybe go a bit more attacking before the end of this end of this game. Maybe eighty minutes. Nothing's changed. Demand more. I'm gonna go very attacking. I'm gonna make that change. Uh, so, Barotha on for Benitez. Switch those two around. There we go. Play him as an inside forward instead. I've just I should have been playing him really as an inside forward anyway because. Um, Kano's more on a defensive instruction anyway, but not to worry. Not to worry. Come on. Ten minutes left. Big finish. A draw would be nice. Goes to Aguero, drops it down to Varela, who's going to run with the ball now. He's going to do this thing, isn't he? Oh, no, he's going to give it to Andriotzi. I thought he was going to do that thing where he just runs and shoots. But Varela's in! Oh, he's offside. I think he's offside because he's not... Oh! Oh, man. Varela is offside. Oh, are you joking? Oh, man. He's definitely offside. Oh, that's so annoying. No, it's not annoying. It's disappointing. It's in the word annoying. Come on. Come on. Still a bit of time. Get creative for the last few minutes. There's still a chance. Manetti not had the best of games. Not really seen anything that would suggest that, but unfortunate. Uh, it's going to end, and that's it, I think. Ah, still going. There you go. Game over. That's un that's that's a bit disappointing. Unlucky. It would have been nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to win. We didn't play too badly. Um, obviously a little bit of a mistake for the first goal. Or was it the second goal? I can't remember. Whichever one went in at the back post. That was unfortunate. I think it was the first goal. Um, and then, yeah, just a bit of a shame, really. Um, we're 11th in the league. We're well off where we need to be. Let's see what the club vision suggests, because I'm a little worried about that. Yeah, disappointed we're not in there at the moment. Just noticed no cup football, which is odd. That's a worry. Uh-oh. How does it work now, then? Where is it? Structure? No, it's rules, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. No idea. But it looks like we're not getting Copa Sudamericana football this year, which is a shame. Well, I suppose we'll just come quickly try and spin through this then and get to the end of the season and see what happens. Um, next games will bring you back for... Da -da 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 -da. Let's go for Atletico Tucumán and Sarmiento. Let's try and get some revenge on these boys and hopefully get a win against these lot as well. That will be the plan. So hopefully you've enjoyed this one, guys. If you have, then make sure you hit the like button. Very much appreciated. If you are new to this channel and it's the first time you come across, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out all the stuff and the other goodness that's on here as well. And let me know your thoughts in the comments as always. Thank you very much for watching again, guys. My name's been David. See you next time. Cheers.